Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode in my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to program on the TI-8384 Plus. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need to do to make a new program is to press the PRGM button, okay? It's in the middle column, third button down. And you're going to get a set of options. You're going to get execute, which means run a program. Edit means edit a program. And new means create a new program. So we're going to scroll over to new and we're going to press enter on create new. All right, so now you're going to give your program a name and the limit is eight characters. So for example, if I type in eight A's, it's only going to type eight before it stops. All right, so make sure that your program name is less than eight characters and you'll be set. So I'm going to give this program high world. There we go. So you can give your program name whatever you want. I'm just going to call it high world. And when you're done naming your program, you're going to press enter. Now you are in the program editor. So basically what this is, is it's basically where all of the code is going to go. So I'm going to show you guys a command. All right. And I'm not sure how many commands I'm going to show you today, but I'm going to show you a few. All right. So the first command I'm going to show you is prompt. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to press program. Now you get a different menu. Instead of execute, edit, and new, you're going to get control, input, output, and execute. So control is basically are the controls of the program. All right. Input, output is the inputs and outputs of the program. So it's basically the graphics of the program. All right. And this is control is all behind the scenes kind of stuff. So it's all like stuff that you don't see when you run the program. So we're going to scroll over to input output and we're going to press um, scroll over, scroll down to number two prompt and you're going to press enter. And what prompt does is it prompts something. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to type prompt and then we're going to do alpha math for A. So we're going to prompt A and we're going to press enter to make a new line. So basically what it is, it's going to ask for a number and it's going to store it into A. Okay, we're gonna see this later in the video when we run the program. All right, so we're gonna prompt A, and then we're gonna display A. So we're gonna press program, scroll over to I slash O again, scroll down to number three, display, press enter, and you're gonna display A, okay? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask you for a number, and then it's gonna display the number, okay? And that's basically the first couple commands I'm going to show you this video. Now I'm going to display one more thing. We're going to press program. We're going to scroll over to I slash O and we're going to scroll down to number three, display again, press enter, and we're going to display a string, which is a word. Okay. In order to display a string, we need to press alpha plus to get quotes. All right. Uh, the quotes is right above the plus right there when you press alpha. Okay. Display quotes. And whatever you type here, it's going to display that. When, with this calculator, as long as it's less than 16 characters, you're going to be fine and the output's going to be really nice. So we're going to display hello world. So hello and world. You can pause the video if I'm going a little too fast, but overall, I think that this will give you a general understanding of display and prompt. All right, so now we're going to quit the program and it saves automatically. We're going to press second mode to quit the program. Now we're going to press program and we're going to scroll down to our program over execute. See high world right there. We're going to press enter. Now it says program high world. When we press enter again, the program is going to run and it's going to ask for a number. So this is the prompt asking and it's saying, hey, what should I store into A? Let's store 52 into A. Let's press enter and it displays 52 and it says hello world and then it says done. So the reason why 52 is over here and hello world is over here is because we need to display a number. It's actually going to display it over here. And when you display a string, it's going to display it starting over here. So that's just a little difference between numbers and strings on display. But what it did is it prompted, hey, what should I store into A? Typed in 52, it displayed 52, and it also displayed hello world, and it said done. So that's basically all I have to show you guys in this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure to like this video. Please subscribe to my channel because this is, I'm hoping to grow this channel a little bit. And I hope to see all you guys in the next video.